Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a product review. I'm here to show you a new product that I have recently got that I love. It is Javi Coffee. If you are a coffee drinker and you're curious about a product that could change your coffee game, especially if you like iced coffee, then stick around for the rest of this video. I'm going to tell you all about this. I'm going to tell you what my whole family thinks of this product, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to use it. So here we go. perks of doing what I do with reviews and all the social media stuff I put out there is that I do occasionally get reached out to by a company asking if I would check out their product and if I like it if I'd be willing to share it with others. It's really important to me though that when I say yes it's actually a product that I will use because I really need to test it out. I don't want to recommend something to you guys based on one-time use. A wig that's one thing, I'm just here to show you the wigs. But when it comes to products like this, I really wanna make sure it's something I would personally use because I can't test something that isn't in my own wheelhouse. And I am a coffee lover. I love coffee, I drink coffee multiple times a day, and so that checked that box. The other thing that's really important to me is just making sure that the company is legit, that you know if I'm sent a product, that the product you purchase is going to be the same product Product, you know there's a lot of scams out there and I'm always warning you guys about scams and so I checked into Javi coffee I watched multiple reviews on them I checked them out on social media and now I've been using this product for two weeks and so I feel like I can confidently bring you a recommendation for this so if you are new to my channel my main focus usually is wigs or something related to hair loss or wigs or sometimes makeup and things like that but generally it's wigs and so I very rarely do product reviews and so I'm only only going to bring products that I really like. I recommend you check out a lot of other reviews out there on this product. There are other videos out there if you're not sure. Um, so let's talk about this. This is a coffee concentrate. It is in a, a little glass bottle and it has what uh, 30 servings is what they say that it has in here. Their recommendation is that you use one to two teaspoons of this in whatever uh, beverage, whatever liquid you're gonna mix it with. And so I think that's based on one teaspoon. I've actually been keeping track of how much of this I've used and I've used about 20 I might have missed a couple in there. I was trying to just keep hashtags on a chart on my counter, but I've used probably 20 to 25 teaspoons of this so far between my own drinking, I gave some to my husband, my daughter has tried it, and I would say I've got a little less than half of the bottle left. So quite a few servings. You can purchase this as a one-time purchase. You can also purchase it as a monthly subscription where you get a discount for that and then they just send it to you automatically each month, which is really great and really convenient. Um, so what's the, before I show you how my favorite way to use this, what's my uh, take on this? First of all, I watched a video on this where their one complaint about it was that it doesn't pour out very well from this bottle and it makes a mess. I will tell you, it did that to me the very first time, but this is recommended to be kept in your fridge after you open it. It does thicken up just slightly when it's refrigerated. I have not had the spilling problem ever since it's been refrigerated. So that is something you might notice on that first one if this isn't cold, but after that, I've not had an issue with it. You know how it kind of leaks over the lip so I want to just throw that out there because I did see one review that complained about that personally I think this stuff is fabulous I prefer to drink it in an iced coffee I am NOT generally an iced coffee person except in the summer usually maybe one of my cups in a day might be an iced coffee I am a purist when it comes to coffee I just like my regular coffee in the morning I make it in my Keurig I have a bunch of uh, refillable little pods and I just buy like my favorite ground coffee usually it's a dark roast I really like dark roast I don't like light roast and make it in my Keurig every day and I only the only thing I put in my coffee is heavy whipping cream and a little squirt of this stevia 
liquid. It's a Splenda Stevia liquid. It's pure Stevia. It doesn't have sucralose or anything else in it. And it comes in a liquid. This is my favorite way to drink coffee. I tried for years to d do different um, artificial sweeteners. I had tried Stevia in the past. So far, this is my favorite Stevia product. Other ones are a lot too bitter for me. So that's how I drink my coffee. I'm not a super fancy coffee drinker. I don't like flavored lattes. I don't buy syrups. So if you're someone who likes all of those kind of things, this really Really might be up your alley because it'll help you make some really fun concoctions. To me, this tastes, um, it doesn't taste as like a light roast to me. So I don't like light roast coffee. And this is a little bit richer tasting than a light roast would be. Maybe not as strong as a super dark roast like a French roast would be. It also, I've noticed it doesn't have some of the bitterness that coffee will have. So I did try this black. I'm not a black coffee drinker at all. And, but I tried it just to see, and you know, I've done the whole 30 in the past and I've tried to do other, uh, clean eating programs to try to, you know, detox my body and things like that. And almost always they recommend if you're going to drink coffee, you drink it black. You don't add anything to it. That's always my downfall. I love my coffee in the morning and I just can't do black coffee. This would be something I could probably do if I, if I really wanted to adhere to one of those detox diets strictly because it isn't bitter. Like regular coffee can have that bitterness to it and that acidity. This does not have that, which I, I really actually appreciate. So if you're, if you struggle, if you want to drink coffee, but oftentimes you find it has a really strong bitter taste, this does not have that taste. Now I will say my husband, told me this didn't taste like coffee to him. I made him his morning coffee that he takes to work every day and he does take his coffee black. And I ended up putting, I think I put four teaspoons in his. And even then, it, and it was a tall travel mug. I think it had 12 ounces of water in it. Even then he said it didn't taste like coffee to him. So he wasn't a fan. And so there is that. My daughter, however, she doesn't like coffee that much, but she makes the coffee every morning and she puts tons of like milk and flavored creamer in there and she likes syrup in there. Uh, she needed three teaspoons of this and because of all that doctoring and she said it tastes great. She would drink this instead of making coffee, 100%. So those are my other two independent testers that give you some opinions. Personally, I still like my regular coffee in the morning. I have had this hot where I mix two teaspoons in with hot water and then I put my Splenda and my heavy cream in there. It's very, very good. If I had to drink this instead of my ground dark roast drip coffee through my Keurig, I would be happy. I would, it's not a significant difference to me at all. Some of my feeling of just wanting to stick with my same old, same old is I'm kind of a creature of habit. And so I just, that's what I'm used to. This was fantastic though, but here is my favorite way to use this. And I'm going to demonstrate with my Vitamix. So, and you don't need to use a Vitamix, but if you're looking for something different in hot weather, maybe you wanna make yourself a little iced coffee, this is a game changer for me. So what do I do? I put in eight ounces of water. I have eight ounces of water here. I put in two teaspoons of this and I have got a teaspoon, a measure here that is two teaspoons. And so I just pour two teaspoons in. You can eyeball it. I've been trying to be very clinical about this because I knew I was gonna do this review for you guys. If I were to do this uh, just for myself once my review's done, I probably would just eyeball it, but I wanted to make sure that I was keeping track of how much I was using. Then I put in a, a generous squirt of this probably a little more than I would put into my morning hot coffee, just because this is more of a treat. And then I put in a little bit of heavy cream. I was putting in about a quarter of a cup or so, which is a lot, um, a lot of calories, but this is more for a treat. And, um, you know, kind of one of those fancy coffees that you can get at a coffee shop. And then some uh, ice. Now I play around with the ice because this can get really slushy and clumpy quick if I use too much ice. And then I just turn it on and I blend it up. Get ready for something to be loud because, you know, I'm not going to be pausing this or anything, but let's just blend it up.
I didn't use a lot of ice, so it doesn't need a lot of blending. Then I just take this and I pour it into my mug here. Yeah, that, that worked with a little bit less ice and that's what you get. And it is fantastic. It tastes like, it tastes like coffee. It tastes like iced coffee, creamy, rich iced coffee to me. It is perfect for a hot day. And so bottom line is, I love this product. I'm actually gonna go and buy some more. I'm gonna sign up for the subscription so I can have this on hand this summer. And so my typical day would probably be drink a cup of hot coffee in the morning and then sometime midday make myself one of these iced coffees because it's so easy to do. I think it's fantastic. So who do I think this is good for? I think this is good for someone looking for convenience, uh, someone who maybe doesn't have a coffee maker handy to them. Uh, maybe you wanna drink coffee at work and they don't have a coffee maker, you don't like their coffee. You could keep one of these in the fridge. If you could have access to hot water, you just mix you know, however much of this you want with your hot water, put in whatever extras you want, and there you go. I really, really honestly do like this a lot. I, I recommend it. I think it's wonderful. I've never tried a coffee concentrate before, so I don't have anything to compare this to, but it's fantastic. I will have a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. I do have a coupon code for 15% off, which is also going to be in the description. You can use that coupon code and get a little bit of a discount let me know what you think though. If you've tried this, if you have it, let me know what you think. More importantly, let those reading the comments know what you think. And if you do purchase this and try it, I'd love to hear what you think. It is very important to me to get the feedback from you guys whenever I recommend anything, what people actually think of it if they buy it. Because if I get overwhelming responses that something isn't living up to what I shared, I understand there's differences of opinion. We all have different tastes. But if I see a trend that something I've recommended isn't as good as I shared it, I start to have concerns concerns about you know the company potentially not selling the same product I'm not saying Javi will do this but I'm saying to you your uh, your opinion your voice matters a lot to me so please come back and share if you do end up trying it tell me if you like coffee do you drink coffee uh, I just kind of want to hear from you guys in the comments what you think of this thanks for watching thank you to Javi coffee for sharing this with me so that I could try it and share it with all of you I've now got kind of a staple a new favorite staple that I will have in my house so that's always fun thanks for watching you guys I'll talk to you later mm -hmm.